Basta may amoy nga katatabo, nga someone dies, a loved one is uh, taken away by the Lord. Such things, such an event always reminds us nga ang ini nga kapuhi, hindi kalit aton. And yes, I understand the, uh, of course, God, the family, friends, members of the church. Of course, I understand human as we are. Sunuan kita. We mourn, we grieve. And uh, as I said, that is very much understandable. Kag dapat lang, mahidi kita, hindi man kita yung mga pusong pato, no? Even though we are Christians, it does not mean na wala kita sa balakyagon kag hindi kita makabatyag sa kasubo. We do. We do grieve. We do mourn. But, importante, hindi nga but, because we have received the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we know that in spite of events like this, we are still victorious and triumphant in the Lord. And God has given us His Word para sa mga amunin na sitwasyon, makabaton kita sa comfort and encouragement gikan sa iya paagi sa iya pulong. At ang pangamuyot ko sa mga gabi, even as we meditate on the Word of God, I pray that the Lord will really impart His comfort, especially to the family and to all of us. And I really believe He will. Sister Kat, I really believe He will. Kay He is all the God of all comfort. And if we have received Him as our Lord and Savior, we are His children. And of course, God, in a sense, weeps with us and mourns with us. But at the same time, He does not want us to forget, yes, Brother Benji might no longer be with us. The Lord has taken Him away. But do not forget, He has eternal life. We have eternal life in Christ. And even right now, although I will be getting ahead of myself, kaya muni ang gist sa nga akong uh, devotional para sa subong gagapi, He is with the Lord. Okay. And because of that great truth, even in the midst of mourning, we can rejoice. Now, that is the paradox of the Christian life. That simultaneously with weeping, we are rejoicing. Ang akon i-share sa atong tanan, subong nga gabi, especially to the Iberian family, uh, Marian family, isa ni siguro sa pinaka-popular na verse from the Bible in situations like this. Philippians chapter 1, verse 21. Basahon ko na lang ang context, masubog kita sa verse 19, para at least may idea, mang kita kung ano kita buwot slingon, sang ining ang word of God, which I pray will comfort our hearts this evening. So, there is a verse 19 sa Philippians chapter 1. Let me read. Yes, and I will rejoice for I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance, as it is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be at all ashamed, but that with full courage, now as always, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. Kagara na, verse 21. A very famous verse which many people know. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet which I shall choose, I cannot tell. I am hard-pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. Balikan ko na ang point karon. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary on your account. But it is God who decides whether there is still a necessity for His children to remain. Kay the better portion is for us to be with the Lord. So kung palang daan, i-emphasize ko na na, may dira ko kita makadto. That will be the conclusion. So diri palang sa introduction, ihatag ko ng conclusion sa devotional. It is far better to be with the Lord. Even though, for the, in the meantime, it might be necessary for us to still remain here. Now, 
Of course, this is just a devotional. Hindi ba niya feeling uh, expository sermon? Good. So this will not be the usual expository sermon. This will be shorter, thankfully, and briefer than the usual. Uh, Papatiyan nyo sa, sa pulpit. Pero i-point out ko lang nga in this passage, Paul is traveling. Hindi siya kapili kung ano ang pilihan niya. <laughs> Hindi siya kabalo kung anong pilihan niya. Life or death. Kaya at that time, he was in prison. At tuto siya, scholars believe, in Rome, he was under house arrest. And there was a possibility that he will be executed. So, both sa Linon, it was really a possibility that his life will soon end. Pero may arak pa siya ministry na tanay gusto niya ng padayunon. So, which is which? Of course, ang decision yara sa Gino, and he was traveling. Pero ang punto ko lang dere, whether it is life or death, for the Christian, win-win. Hindi win-lose. That's my point. For the Christian, a true believer in Jesus Christ, who is saved by faith in Jesus Christ, who has eternal life, it's a win-win situation. Kung magpadayon ang kabuhi mo, daog! Kung kuhaon ka, daog magyapon. In fact, far better. Now, maybe, what I would like to communicate this evening is that we should retain a positive, not only a positive attitude towards death, but a triumphant victorious attitude. I understand yung may ara, kasubot, may pulba, but in the final analysis, we cannot let go of who we are. We are children of God. We are in Christ. We are heirs of the promises. The promises to us is, grabe, it's just wonderful. Death does not have the final say. Christ has the final say. Ang bago gani, win-win. Why? Why is it a win-win? Because for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Or in other words, it's a win-win situation because life is a great privilege and death is a great prospect. Anong buot si Lingon Sina? Kung mag-decide ang ginuo na magpadayon ang kabuhi mo, that's a great privilege. Because hambal ni Paul sa akong limpasa kanina, it is an opportunity if, if the Lord allows you to continue living, it is an opportunity for fruitful labor. Pribilyo nga padayuno ng kapuhin mo kung nga mo maginang desisyon sa ginoo, kaya may ara ka oportunidad mag-alagad sa iya. And I would just like to point out very briefly, no, kay, kay ba na mo chansa naman ni mo, nga may chiki, ang kamatay, hambal nila, there's a verse, I think, cannot remember where, no? Ecclesiastes. The house of the wa, ah, the, the the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, not in the house of birth. Ang buwan sa lingon, ang maalam na tao, kabalo siya. No, ang ining mga sitwasyon nga muli nga may kamatayon, oportunidad ni na mag-alam pagid. Kay amuni ang mga sitwasyon nga marilisar mo kung anong idiyang importante sa kabuhi. And according to Paul, you know life, you know what it is all about? It's not about comfort, It's not about success. Kaya isang ginsulat ni, ni, ni Paul at tuto siya niya sa prisuhan. So what is it all about? Kung basahon mong context, dali lang gid niya. I want us to understand why life is a great privilege. Kay the Lord wants to teach us something through this event. Philippians chapter 1 verse 18. So chapter 1 magyapon. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed, and in that I rejoice. Bisan ari ko de, sa prisuhan, bisan may mga tao nga suya sa akon, kaya mo ng context nga nagkatabo. Bisan ako nung pagkatabo, ang importante, Christ is being proclaimed. So what is life all about? Hearing Christ. For Paul, it's about rejoicing in what Christ did for him. Kung magkatu ka naman daya sa dason nga, nga, nga verse, kundi nagbasa kita verse 21, dira sa Philippians chapter 1, naghambal na siya sa previous verse, hambal niya, I will not be ashamed. With full courage, now as always, Christ will be honored in my body. Liputon talang niya. Simple ko, simple ko talang niya. Pamangkutun ko ang mo, tanan, tiki buhay, buhay pata. 
Ari paket ka sa kalibutan. What is life all about? Ano plano mo? Ano prioridad mo? Okay. Kamu na lang na kabalo kung anong inyo personal nga sabat. Pero kung pamangkutun niya si Paul, ang iya purpose in living, purpose driven life, it's about honoring Christ. Glorifying Christ. Sharing Christ. Sharing the gospel. Kay kabalo. Kabalo git si Paul nga kung himuon niya na mahimaya niya ang iya nga master na nagluwas siya. Honoring Christ, that is the point of life. Did, did, did you hear me? Oh, friends, brothers and sisters, and I'm saying this because si Brother Benji, although hindi siya yan sila yung managwali, basi na ka-devotional siya, wala nito kapalo, he honored Christ by sharing Christ and glorifying Christ through his musical talents, along with his family, pati anyo naman, gakanta sila, ginahimaya nila sa ginoo, ang ginoo, ginashare nila ang word of God through songs, and I can say that his life is a meaningful and significant life. All because he honored Christ. In the final analysis, that is what is what life is all about. Iba lang, bali Paul, for me, to live is Christ. That's verse 21. Pero verse 20, I am not ashamed. All I want is that Christ will be honored. So, iba, kung iba, wala ko na, wala ko na, mang, uh, wala ko, naghambal nga sakto nyo itong pamangkot ko sa kanina. Pero, yung buhit luwat sa inyo. Oh, what is life all about? Whatever your answer might be, I propose to you that there is only one correct answer. The purpose of life is to live for Christ by honoring Him in whatever way. Whether it is through singing, whether it is through your work, whether it is through preaching, the important point is whether in life or in death, Christ is honored in my body, in my life. And that is Brother Benji and his family. Let's give the Lord a clap of Okay, so life is a great privilege. But you know what? For me to live is Christ, to die is gain. Life is a great privilege, but death is a great prospect. Diba si magambal ka? Naipa, brother Dennis, na nagambal pang great prospect. Kung kayo kung magsiling ka prospect, ang buot si Lingon, gina-antisipan mo na, wala mo na, ginapalagyuan. In fact, gani, you are looking forward to it. Di ba la? But that is not the attitude of most people. Basta ka matayon ang inistoryahan, ang nagasunod sa tagi-pusukod sa tao, kahadlog. In fact, they might even tell you, na ano ka man, nga kamatayon niya, ang imo, yung ginapaminsar, you are so morbid. Na, the word is morbid. But no, Hambal ni Paul, for me, to live is Christ, to die is gain. Okay, death is a great prospect. It is not something to be afraid of. In fact, it is something to look forward to. Prospect mo. Gali ni ba si mo mangkot ka? Okay. Nang, di ba lang kamatayo, it is a curse, penalty of sin is siya. Yes. Wala ko yung ina-deny. In and of itself, death is a terrible thing. Galing because Jesus Christ came and died on the cross and saved us from the penalty of sin which is death. Death does not hold any terrors for us any longer because of Christ. Kung wala si Christ, then you have all the right to be afraid. But because Christ has came, has arrived, Nangin matay sa cross, ginpairan na akong kasalanan, ginperde ang kamatayon. Instead of fear, we must be courageous, victorious, and triumphant. Iso, hindi magpadala sa depression, hindi magpadala sa kahaglok, hindi pwede. Because Christ has conquered death. For the Christian, death is gain. For the Christian, death is a great prospect. Di ba si Mary? O padaluman pag ibnaton. Why do you say that? Magsiling ka gain, ang buot sa ningon sila, 
profit advantage. Okay. Tingnan na gan bal kita nga para sa Christian ang kamatayon ganar. Una, tungod nga maagi sa kamatayon ang Kristohanon, ang anak sa Dios, makabaton sa kapahuwayan. Now, of course I understand nga do ta usual na gina basta may kamatay, di agahabal din sila per me rest in peace. Pero medyo masakit sa kit niya balon, matay ang obligation to preach the truth as the Bible tells it. Only those who are in Christ have the right to say that upon death they can have rest and peace. Sila lang yun. Nga, kaya naghambal ang Biblia, Matthew 11.28, kapalo na kamo sina, come to me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Ang wala sa kay Kristo, wala sa kapangwayan. Pagkapatay nila, pagbugtaw nila, I am sorry to say, they will not be in a place of rest. Pero anong hambal sa Biblia niya, parke sa mga kaanakan sa Diyos? Hambal niya dahil, dira sa Revelation 14.13, basahon ko sa inyo, kaginagin mo no, nini, katakata ka gina, no? Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors. Pau takut takut ni yang ganar, diri sa kalibutan naga stragon kita kapui kita, tidak lang silinga kapui kan kapui kita sa atur kubra, kapui kita sa madamu lang ni dua butan yang naga paantos sa atur, naga pabuk a pabuk a tan tanah naga klase. But you know what? When a Christian dies, all of that is over. He is with the Lord. Gapau wain sya. As itu tu buat dia. Sya. Brother Benji, nataagong nagit siya sa matutuod na tapahuwayan because in Christ, He has rest. Come to me, all you will be born and I will have laid down and I will give you rest. Kapahuwayan, katawahayan, after death, kay sino lang na makitaan? Kay Christ Jesus. That's why I challenge ko with Satanan, if you have not yet received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, receive Him. Only in Him can you find rest from your guilt, from your sins, from all your struggles. Pero ang pahay, kagdiri kita matakot. Very brief lang yun eh. Kung basahon mo ang context, hambal niya nila, for to me to live is Christ, to die is gain. Verse 22, if I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet which I shall choose, I cannot tell. I am hard pressed between the two. Are, are. Verse 23. Listen carefully. My desire is to depart and be with Christ. Nga aganar ang kamatayon para sa Kristuhanon. Because upon death, when you die, when a Christian dies, he closes his eyes, but when he opens it, wonder of wonders, he sees the Lord Jesus Christ and he is with the Lord Jesus Christ. To be Absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Kung ang pamangkot o sa tanan, pagbuta magtapo, what can be better than that? What can be better than to die and then open your eyes and see the one who truly loved you, the only one who truly loved you, who even gave his life on the cross so that you might be saved, the one who took care of you, Without your knowing it, from the time you were born up to the time you passed away, He was always there. The only one who loves you, not only with a perfect love, but with an eternal love. Di mala kung magpuli ang isa ka ng FW, magpuli siya sa iya, sa tagmakit anyang iya, pamilya nga nagapalanggat siya, puno sa kalipay ang iya tagipuson because. He sees the Amuman Spia. You see the one who loved you. That is what will happen when a Christian dies. He wakes up. He opens his eyes. He sees the one who loved him so much. 
He even gave His life on the cross to save us. For God demonstrated His love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Brother Benji is absent from the body, but is now present with the Lord. You have to understand what that means. That means to boom palang. Sige na siya tulog sa ginoo, ginoo. How could you have loved me? He will spend eternity wondering why the Lord loved him that much. And because he is in the presence of love himself, he is experiencing joy and happiness that none of us, none of us can understand at this time. So I close with these words. I close with these words. He is in a far better place. He is with a far better person. Everything about him is far better. If there is anyone we should mourn for, it is ourselves. He is with the Lord. We are still to be the to be with the Lord. So I say, Brother Benji, mayo kaya no? Na una una kala. Pero sige lang, maapas din kami. We will also be in a far better place, just like you. Okay. Let us pray.